what he is achieved this year for me is in my book probably a little under what he is can achieve i think only shrikant's super performance this year could have eclipsed what pranoy has done sindhu is uh, is a bit inconsistent she is one of the most motivated athletes i have seen i think a phenomenal drive to do and keep pushing well of course i i see better things to come the conditions in which he had played and won these tournaments probably he could have had another one or two more super series that's what he's capable of and uh, that in fact is very very encouraging sometimes scary because that's the potential he has and i hope he realizes that because uh, what he is achieved this year for me is in my book probably a little under what he is can achieve he is very one of the smarter guys uh, on court and i still believe that what we have seen is is just a fraction and um, there is a lot more uh, which he is capable of i i wouldn't say that i wouldn't say that i i i, I definitely feel that uh, those two tournaments and the two tournaments again uh, belonged to him and uh, he had to win those there's no way uh, he should have lost those tournaments sindhu is uh, is a bit inconsistent uh, but i guess at the end of the day Uh, it is important for us to understand that if you have an olympic medal three world championship medals and asian games medals and commonwealth medal and are inconsistent it doesn't matter uh, at the end of the day what matters is the number of events she has won and she's won quite a few at the moment and i'm very happy with the way she has progressed to come off the back of an olympic final year and a great year last year and to have two successive years which have been good i think is amazing i think um, she is one of the most motivated athletes i have seen i think a phenomenal drive to do and keep pushing uh, it's great energy to work with and um, I'm sure she has a few years of badminton left in her. Well, it's it's been pretty smooth. I think uh, she's somebody who's been spent many years here. She's almost 2004 to 2040 for 10 years she's been there. And um, yeah, it's good to uh, good to see her motivated. Good to see that she's beaten Carolina again. She's come back. She's she's had some good wins and she's also um, yeah there are a few areas in her game which need work and uh, hopefully in the coming uh, year we'll be able to sort these issues out because uh, with the ongoing circuit uh, we don't have the luxury of time to actually back off train properly and get back onto the circuit I think a world number 10 who's beaten Li Chongwei, Lin Dan, Chen Long consistently. On another year Pranoy would have been a star. And uh, Shrikant actually um, spoiled the party for him in a way because he's raised the bar even higher. I think only Shrikant's super performance this year could have eclipsed what Pranoy has done. Um Pranoy is capable of big things. that's definitely a no coach type nobody um, it's almost like an unwritten rule an un- unsaid rule that nobody talks about the match before the match and uh, my sms is if any are standard sms is which go on to both the players in the sense warm up well stretch well ensure that you you push well and ensure that whoever wins wins the next match well as well <laughs> so those are the kind of things but um, it is all it is definitely a no match uh, no coach match